Hey guys, how you doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Um, sorry for the lack of videos, it's been, it's got to be nearly two weeks now I think, maybe a week and a half. Yeah, a bit too long, so I'm sorry about that. Um, haven't really had anything I wanted to post videos about recently, so I didn't want to just post a video for the sake of posting a video. Uh, I like to keep, you know, some kind of quality to the videos if there is any. <laughs> just so that you've got something worth watching, I don't want to just post a video for the sake of it, because, uh, you know, you wouldn't want to watch it, so. This is going to be a package video. Uh, I've got a package from a company called Ninja Castle on eBay. Uh, I think a few people use Ninja Castle, but they're, they're absolutely excellent. I've used them a couple of times now, and uh, got to say, excellent service, uh, great customer service, really well packaged, and they're also very good with uh, offers on games because they always use the best offer option, and they actually allow decent offers. I don't like a lot of people. They seem to just think the the best offer is like fifty p or a pound off, which is ridiculous. Whereas Ninja's Castle. I quite managed to take a couple of quid off a game, which is absolutely excellent. So I recommend them if you've never used them. So yeah, here we go guys, let's uh, crack it open, let's see what we've got. Now <laughs> I can get into it, bloody hell, I'll take this one. Exceptionally well packaged as I expected. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, got my uh, receipts. I've got a uh, card for Ninja's Castle. Excellent. Right, let's see what we've got then. Tons of bubble wrap as well. I won't show you it because you'll know what the games are then. Or at least what system they're for. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> There's so much tape. Right, there we go. absolutely nothing about it. I just saw Lafarius do a gameplay ages ago about it. Um, is that a sticker? Sorry, hang on. Yeah, I think that's a sticker. No, it is. Sorry, man. I thought the, uh, uh, the box was damaged, but it's not a sticker. Just got it off and all. Excellent. Right, okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Distracted again. Um, yeah, it's a game that I saw Lafarius do a gameplay for ages ago, months ago. Um, and it looks a bit cheesy, but I just find it kind of thought it'd be fun to play, and it was a decent price. I thought, why not? And it's for the Super Nintendo, which is excellent, and it's called Time Slip. Um, it's got a tab on the back there, which is a bit weird. I, think. I don't know if they've got that on there. That's just off with the plastic, can that come off? I'm really iffy about doing this in case it damages it. Oh, look at that, nice and gentle, got it off. Brilliant, super. So, yeah, it's basically a major Contra ripoff. I mean, it's such a ripoff, it's unreal. See some screenshots on the back of there. But um, I just thought, what the hell, it's worth a shot, it might be decent. Uh, let's have a look inside because it is complete. Alright, all the usual kind of stuff. You've got the old uh, Nintendo Power, gotta have that. Oh, nice colour manual, excellent. There you go, pretty decent shape as well. And uh, the all important game itself in its tray, plastic bag, dust cover. I love the fact it's got a dust cover, that's really helpful. So I've actually, that's the thing, I mentioned recently in a video that, um, about dust covers and how expensive they are to import. 
And I was, can't remember who it was, and I was speaking to someone in the comments about it. It's ridiculous uh, what the prices they want uh, to, to buy them and then ship them. And I saw a guy over here in the UK selling them on eBay. I think they were like £2.50 or £2.95 each, and I was like, piss off, I'm not paying that for a bit of plastic. That's ridiculous. Lovely and clean pins. That's in really nice shape, actually. Look at that. The label looks absolutely spot on. Uh, yeah, I'm very impressed with that. As I said, the game might be crap, but I mean, it looks interesting enough to want to play it. And uh, it's another one for the collection, which is the most important part. If it's going wrong, I'm not getting hit in the bag now. That <laughs> Christ, first I can't open the box, then I'm having on about stickers on boxes now. Oh, I don't know. It's all going wrong today. Right, okay. So that's the first one I got. Pop that back in the box. So yeah, time slip. Hopefully it'll be good. I'll do a gameplay, what the hell. I know the fire's just done it, but I'll just do it anyway. Um, yeah, it's such a rip off the country, it's unreal. <laughs> right, next up we've got um, uh, a classic actually. Oh, I didn't know it was damaged. Shit, it's damaged on the back. Oh, that's really annoying. I didn't list it as that on the on the advert. No, that's really annoying. That wasn't on the auction. That's, that's pissed me off. I wouldn't have bought it if I'd have seen that. Oh well. I'll have to get another copy later on in the future. Um, it is Chuck Rock for the SNES. As you can see, it's got damage there. That's really frustrating because they're usually really good, uh, but they didn't list that in the auction. That's a pain in the ass. I've talked to them about that. Oh, that's really frustrating. <laughs> oh well. Uh, Chuck Rock, if you don't know, is a platform game. It's, it's really good. I, used to have it, I, I think I don't think it was a 64, the Amiga. I, know, I can never remember which system I had certain games on, but yeah, it was really good anyway. Um, okay, we got the precautions leaflet. Uh, a bit of a Nintendo Power again. Uh, manual looks excellent. Yeah, another colour one as well, which is good. So yeah, it's an excellent shape. Plus the glass so bad. Uh, another, and yet again, in the tray, plastic bag and dust cover. Always nice to have. I've got to say, the cartridges are in excellent condition. The labels look superb. It's really nice. Really nice and bright. There you go. And the back. That's excellent. Yeah, I'm just a bit annoyed about the box, but um, as I say, what I'll do, I'll just uh, contact them and ask them if I can get a, a minor discount or something on it, because, well, to be fair, <laughs> I don't think they will, because I did make them an offer on it and I got it cheaper than it was on sale anyway. Um, I think I got £5 off it anyway, so <laughs> maybe I shouldn't take the piss. But, but you know, what the hell. They are pretty good, so maybe they will do a kind of goodwill thing, I don't know. But yeah, overall, I'm very happy to have Chuck Rock because it's a really nice game. Uh, it's just really frustrating. It's right on the, on the text as well there. Oh well. I mean, to be fair, you, got, you know, I know these games are really old, so you're supposed to expect these things, but I, I'm a bit, you know, a bit perfectionist when it comes to SNES games. And uh, this next one is in fantastic condition. Um, it's a game I know nothing about. I just saw a video... God, I know it was last year, I think it was. I was looking on YouTube for the, um, Super Nintendo games. Trying to find games I've never heard of and never played. And I saw a video with two kids that I've made about this game. And they said it was really good. It was one of those underrated games. So I've been looking for it ever since. Really. I've never really, you know, not like actively looking. Just now and again I'd have a look. Um, and I wasn't that fussed, but I thought I might pick it up for the right price. And I got it for the right price at Ninja's Castle. And it's called Harley's Humongous Adventure. There you go. In fantastic condition, I must admit, I'm very impressed with that. Uh, it's basically a platform game. Um, it's, I had a look the other day at watched some more gameplays of it, and it looked quite interesting. I don't, as I said, I don't know too much about it, unfortunately. Bloody hell, it's got everything in this. Well, I mean, it's got the registration card, which I love getting those, so that's a really nice advantage or bonus. Um, it's got a poster, so let's have a look at that. Oh, wicked, it's actually got a poster of the game. That makes a chance using an advert or something. Look at that. Spot on. That's a really cool poster, I like that. Got a, um, what's this one? A pink leaflet telling you about uh, turning the power 
and the control deck off before removing the game pack. Fantastic. And of course, some play fit. And then, of course, the only port. Oh, hang on, sorry, we've got Nintendo Power as well. We've got everything in this one. The only port in the case, cartridge, dust cover, and plastic bag. Which, again, is in fantastic condition. So you can always tell with the labels. When you hold them to the light, you can see like, the indentations and stuff. None of these have got that. They're all in perfect condition. Very impressive. There you go. So, yeah, I'm really happy. I mean, I should let Chuck Rock slide just for the fact that I got five quid off it. <laughs> See, that's how good they are with the offers. I'm quite impressed with that. Right, there you go. So that's three new additions to the Super Nintendo collection, which is, you know, as you can see, is growing quite nicely. I'm very happy with it. Uh, brilliant. Um, so yeah, so we've got Chuck Rock, Time Slip, and Harley's Humongous Adventure. So the collection is growing nicely. And if I just have a quick tally up, uh, you can get 19 per shelf on there. So you've got 19, 38. Got 47 in there at the moment, so I've just hit 50. Oh, <laughs> brilliant! So yeah, I've now got, I've hit the magical 50 Super Nintendo games. Fantastic! I wasn't expecting to do that. Well, I should have been, because I've obviously hadn't counted them up. Uh, whatever. Anyway, yeah, so brilliant. So those three make my 50 Super Nintendo games. So halfway to 100, which is excellent. I mean, you know, as anyone knows who collects games, box Super Nintendo games are a pain in the ass to buy because they're so expensive for good co good quality ones. So I'm very happy with that. Um, I have got a couple of fantastic packages coming shortly. Um, it's bank holiday weekend here in the UK, so they won't be coming till well, one of them won't be coming for probably another two weeks because it's coming from Japan. So that's a very special one. And I've got a package coming from a fellow YouTuber as well. Um, I won't say who it is because it will give away what the package is. Um, but that's coming, hopefully should be here Tuesday. Uh, and I'm off work Tuesday, so I'll be doing a package video as soon as it arrives because it's going to be absolutely epic. So yeah, brilliant. Uh, I've got a Saturday night special for this week as well. That's going to be up in a couple of hours. So thank you for watching, guys. Um, thank you for sticking with me. Hello to all my new subscribers as well because I've had quite a lot in the last week and a half. And um, yeah, just absolutely awesome. And uh, I've been watching lots of videos from everybody else, and some absolutely fantastic content's been been, been going up uh, as always. And um, yeah, YouTube's awesome as ever, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you all again shortly.